Now we'll take a look at subtracting decimals involving sign decimals. And in most cases, I think it's going to be helpful to rewrite the subtraction problems as addition problems. And just to review, subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative, and subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So looking at this first example of 14 minus 26.8, this is equivalent to 14 plus negative 26.8. So right away, as an addition problem, we should be able to recognize that the negative is going to outweigh the positive, and therefore the sum will be negative. So following the rules for adding sign decimals, because we have two numbers with different signs, we're actually going to subtract their absolute values. And we'll always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. Well, the absolute value of negative 26.8 would be positive 26.8 and the absolute value of positive 14 is positive 14, so we'll be subtracting 14 from 26.8. So we probably want to put our decimal point here and add a zero in the tenths place value. And then before we subtract, we want to move the decimal point down into our difference, and now we'll subtract as we normally do. Again, the reason we're subtracting is because as an addition problem, the numbers had different signs. So we have eight minus zero, that's eight. Six minus four is two, and two minus one is one. So this difference is 12.8, but because the larger absolute value is 26.8, which came from the negative 26.8, this actual sum, which is the same as this difference, is negative 12.8. And again, this should make sense that it's negative because, because this negative 26.8 is outweighing the positive 14. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, for the first step, we're going to write this as an addition problem. Subtracting positive 1.84 is the same as adding 1.84. So as an addition problem, we're going to have negative 5.769 plus negative 1.84. So again, if we thought of this in terms of money, this is a loss and this is a loss, so if we add two losses, we'd still have a loss, meaning the sum is going to be negative. Following the formal rules, because we're adding decimals with the same sign, this time we'll add the absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 5.769 is positive 5.769, and the absolute value of negative 1.84 is positive 1.84. We probably want to put a zero here in the thousands place value, then bring the decimal down into our sum, and now we can add. So we have nine, this would be 10, carry a one, this would be 16, carry a one, this would be seven. But remember we said this sum has to be negative, which is the same as this difference, so we're gonna have negative 7.609. It does take some practice to get used to subtracting sign decimals, but I hope these examples helped.